Yo, what is going on everyone? It is your boy X Big Chris X here and uh before we get into anything, I want to say I'm sorry for you guys that um have subscribed to me to see Black Ops 2 gameplay and uh commentaries. I know I haven't had anything up this whole past week. It's been all Battlefield 3 and it's only been one video a day. Um I think I skipped a day and this upload might actually even go up late today, Friday. Um but, you know, late to me is, I mean, I like to get uh, my second video of the day out at 2, so this might be like a 3 or depending, you know, upload, processing, whatever. Uh, but what I want to get into today is some new DLC has finally been uh, announced for Black Ops 2, and I am super excited. Like I told you guys before, I was kind of getting a little eh, bored of the old, you know, DLC, the, um, what was it called? I don't even know what it was called. I, I completely forgot what the map pack was called. I remember the maps, just forgot what the map pack is called. But um, that's not important. So let's get into the new DLC. The new DLC will be called Uprising. And I think that name is morely just for um, the, the new Mob of the Dead. And I was going to speak about that last, but since we're talking about it, why not go into it? Uh, Mob of the Dead is going to be their new um, zombie map. Uh, it's going to be in Alcatraz, and you're going to be... You're going to have four playable characters. I don't know their names off the top of my head. I'll probably throw them on screen afterwards. Um, and you basically get to play as these four characters. They're, they're new. I think they were famous criminals. I'm pretty sure they were. And there's gonna have, they're going to have like old school weapons. And you're going to be playing inside... Um, what is it? Alcatraz. You're going to be playing inside of Alcatraz uh, with these four new playable characters. And there's also some new weapons. From what I saw, uh, I only saw like one or two, but the second one is iffy. Uh, the first one I saw that looks like a definite is a Tommy gun. Now, if you guys that don't know what a Tommy gun is, if Tommy gun is, if you guys have ever seen Godfather, just picture you know the weapon that uh, what's his face gets shot at at the uh, toll booth. Okay, uh, and it looks pretty badass. It's all chromed out though. It's all uh, silver and really nice looking it's got you know a little bit beat, beat up some scratches on it but it looks really nice uh so let's go into the main part that i truly care about by myself and if you guys hear any background noise my bad my window's open um the four maps that i really care about myself are magma which is going to be a map based in a japanese village a modern day village that is um and it's going to actually have magma flowing into the map well they call it lava so whatever they have lava flowing into the map. Now, I don't know. I thought about this for a minute, and from what I saw from the uh, gameplay, it doesn't look like it's going to be overpowered magma, you know, or lava. Uh, it looks like to get killed by the lava, you have to go towards the edge of the map. So I don't know if over time it fills into the entire map or how that works, but... Um, I think I think it's I don't think it's gonna flow all the way into the map. Maybe it's gonna take up a good chunk of it, but hopefully it won't completely destroy the map and make it almost impossible for you to navigate and uh, flank the enemy. Uh, next is Encore. Encore is I'm guessing it's after the concert in multiplayer. If you've never seen it, um, there's a little concert in in the game, uh, and basically it's all the main characters playing uh, a song by I, think, I don't even know what the band's name is. But they're all playing one of their songs, and it's really cool, whatever, whatever. So it's basically based in a concert that had non-core. And, you know, it's crazy. There's trash everywhere, stuff like that. There's, there's uh, two ways to navigate it. You can cut straight through the middle, through the main part of the concert. Or you can go through the sides around the stadium and flank that way. Now, another one is Vertigo. Vertigo is very interesting. Vertigo is actually a map that was supposed to be in Modern Warfare 2. Dropping some knowledge on you guys. Uh, it was a map that I guess was rejected. I don't really remember the whole story, but um, I'll put a link if I can find one. Uh, and basically, it's going to be uh, around two VTOL warships. Well, it's going to be around a, v a VTOL landing uh, pad uh, and through a transport transportation terminal uh bringing the dimensions of verticality to every battle uh, there's going to be very place there's going to be very skinny ledges and stuff so flanking fast uh, isn't going to be hard 
but it's going to be definitely something you're going to watch want to watch out for because you could probably easily fall uh, off one of these things if you even slightly adjust yourself to the right or the left. And finally, for those of you that loved firing range in the original Black Ops like I did, because it was actually one of my better maps that I played on, uh, there is a remake of that, and it's entitled Studio. Uh, it's been reimagined as a Hollywood backlot, pretty much, uh, and it's allowing players to take a wide variety of classic movie acts. So basically, there's gonna, I, I saw in the trailer, there's a dinosaur part, there's a, there's a like monkey part, which I'm going to guess is King Kong. Uh, so the dinosaur one was obviously Jurassic Park, and... I don't know. There's gonna. I think there's gonna be a co few cool little Easter eggs. I even think there's gonna be a little bash at Dice and EA. Uh, and if you don't know why that is, it's this whole dinosaur thing. You'd have to go check it out, Google it, and figure it out. But uh, this video is coming to a close. Sorry, I rushed a little bit, but I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this has been XB Chris X. Talk to you guys later. Bye.